The red carpet has finally found its way back to the Sundance Film Festival 2023 after an absence of two years for in-person screenings. The festival is almost done and film professionals, actors, and movie buffs have been braving the snow in Park City, Salt Lake City to check out the 130 films, documentaries, and shorts that are now streaming online. Over the course of the weekend, fans in Park City, Salt Lake City, and Sundance Resort interacted with the A-listers who walked the red carpets and addressed the media for the world premieres of many films. When it comes to Hollywood premieres, the Sundance Film Festival in Park City stands out as a rare exception. Hollywood's biggest stars don't usually fly into the hearts of Utah's icy mountains for any other film festival. When compared to the more formal Cannes Film Festival and Toronto International Film Festival, Sundance is a more laid-back event. It's not just about turning up there, but also about showing off your most stylish and cozy winter attire. Starting this weekend, the red carpet has been graced with a stylish range of winter clothing. The Golden Globe Awards came to an end just about a week ago and it was a spectacular display of style and fashion. The Sundance Film Festival didn't lag behind in the race of style and charm, as many famous celebrities including Anne Hathaway blessed the red carpet with their presence. In this video, we will be looking at the most stunning looks from the Sundance Film Festival. Stay with us till the end and we will talk about Anne Hathaway nailing the 90s look in her black dress. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so. Any red carpet event from any show is always attended by some renowned celebrities, and these celebrities have their own taste when it comes to fashion and style. Sundance Film Festival kicked off with a red carpet event that was adorned with many stars. On the red carpet of 2023 Sundance Film Festival, Anne Hathaway showed off her gorgeous legs while promoting her new film, Eileen. At the event, which was hosted at the Eccles Center Theater, the actress, who is now 40 years old, looked stunning in a black mini dress as she walked down the red carpet and pulled a number of poses for the cameras present. Her favorite dress featured a lace structure, a delicate checkered pattern, and a back that was somewhat see-through, all of which she was more than glad to showcase. She completed her all-black outfit by wearing tights, boots with lace up front, and a bulky puffer jacket. The actress from Les Miserables had her brown hair arranged in a way that gave it a windswept appearance, and she maintained a very natural look with her makeup by applying basic eyeliner and light red lipstick. The stunning beauty accessorized her look with a little purse, a small golden necklace, golden hoop earrings, a silver bracelet, and many rings. It will not be wrong to say that she nailed the classic 90s look and her beautiful black dress. Anne Hathaway was not the only celebrity on the red carpet that mesmerized the audience. There were many other gorgeous celebs who were worth the mention. Let's have a look at the best red carpet looks from 2023 Sundance Film Festival. First off, we have the Fifty Shades of Grey star, Dakota Johnson. Johnson, one of Gucci's primary ambassadors, wore the brand's sign whenever she could at Sundance to demonstrate her support. While she was attending the premiere of Invisible Beauty, she was seen there wearing an entire outfit from the label. The actress accessorized her look with jewelry by Anika Inez, Jessica McCormack, and Laura Lombardi. Her rings from Anika Inez and Jessica McCormack complemented her earrings by Laura Lombardi. Johnson dressed properly for the cold in Park City, which is in the 20s and below, by wrapping herself in several layers of warm and comfortable jackets. She radiated elegance in this wine-colored garment by Noor Hamour, which was fashioned over a blouse by Bayes Range and wool pants by Gucci. She wore this outfit on the 21st of January on the red carpet. It appears that she likes her jewelry so much that she continues to wear the same three brands, Anika Inez, Jessica McCormack, and Laura Lombardi. Second on the list is the GOT star Amelia Clark. Amelia Clark chose to wear a bedazzled head to toe Chanel attire when attending the 2023 Sundance Film Festival premiere of her most recent film, The Pod Generation. The hallmark logo of the Mason, the double C, was emblazoned all over the two piece co ord set in a glittering pattern. The actress from Game of Thrones wore an outfit from Chanel's Resort 2023 collection, which she matched with transparent denier tights and satin black Chanel heels. She was joined by other actors in the film, as well as director Sophie Bartz. On January 19, Clark attended a highly regarded yearly event that was held in Utah and walked the red carpet. Bartz is the writer and director of the next science fiction rom-com movie, and it is expected to be released sometime this year. It follows the tale of a couple from New York who uses a new tool produced by a technology corporation called Pegasus on their whirlwind journey to become parents. The actress has been quite cautious about her promotional activities as of late. However, for all of that is about to change after the debut of her most recent production and after a significant health scare over the summer. Due to a brain aneurysm that she experienced while she was in her 20s, the celebrity disclosed in July 2022 that certain regions of her brain are no longer functional. 
Then we have Taylor Page. The Sundance Film Festival is hardly the place where one would anticipate seeing a ball dress. However, it is impossible to expect anything when it comes to Taylor Page, since she always surprises people. At the premiere of Magazine Dreams, which took place at the Echo Center Theater on Friday, January 20, in Park City, Utah, the actress chose to wear a Marine Sayre regenerated moire ball dress from the Spring 2023 collection. While the event that was held on January 20 was not related to the red carpet, but we couldn't help ourselves from adding Taylor Page to our list. She did not go too far from the theme of the runway by pairing the ball dress with the active jersey second skin top, which gave the outfit a sporty vibe. This is in addition to the fact that she did her hair and makeup to complete the stunning look. The shoes that were worn on the runway were great, but our favorite part is Taylor's white heels because we adore how they pop out from beneath the skirt and tie in the unique style of the brand. Every single picture taken at this event showed Taylor with her hands tucked in her pockets. It's possible that this was necessary in order to maintain the shape of the dress. Nevertheless, if she were anything like us, her hands probably would have found their way into the pockets almost immediately. Now, last on the list we have... During her most recent public appearance, Tayana Taylor splashed vibrant colors onto her winter clothing. On January 23, 2023, during the Sundance Film Festival in Park City, Utah, the multi-hyphenate artist appeared as though she had just gotten off the slopes as she walked by the Acura Festival Village. Taylor completely changed her appearance for the event. The artist known for the song Bear With Me was seen wearing an orange coat that had three unique orange tones, a broad collar and zipper details in the center of the outfit. She kept the jacket draped over her shoulders in order to draw attention to the multicolored graphic t-shirt that she had on underneath. She paired her shirts with bright red ruched pants that included white bottom snap around the leg, which gave the outfit a touch of edginess. The star of Coming to America amplified the significance of the event by wearing tinted sunglasses, wrapping her faux locks into two space buns and letting the rest of her hair fall down over her shoulders. Taylor went for a glam look by applying light, neutral makeup and glossing her lips. The musician's outfit was not complete without the addition of a pair of dark snow boots. The kind of shoe had a rounded toe, a chunky outsole and green laces that were in a crisscross pattern. And that pretty much rounds up our today's video about the best red carpet looks from Sundance Film Festival. Let us know in the comments what you think about the 90s look that Anne Hathaway radiated on the carpet. We hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did, please leave us a like as a token of appreciation for the video. Also, do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to be notified about more of our content on celebrity looks and outfits. We will be back with another video soon.